Hi, welcome back. I am Paul Chartier. Laura Carr and Olivia Gibson are here from Lexington Rescue Mission. Thank welcome. Thank you for having us. Thanks. Two bright faces on the stage. Thanks for coming in. Oh, it's our pleasure. Um, some people may not know what the rescue mission is. We know mm -hmm. Salvation Army, we know this group, that group. Mm -hmm. I think it was your dad, mm -hmm. if I remember the story, came down from Indiana mm -hmm. and started the mission. How did that happen? Well, he and my mom had led the benevolence ministry at their church for many years and did all the holiday dinners and the coat drives and all that kind of stuff and just really had a heart for people who are struggling with poverty and homelessness. Up in Indiana? In Indiana. Okay. And so as he was feeling like God was calling him to that, some kind of ministry, that, uh, that kind of ministry, he found out about rescue missions and thought, this is exactly mm. what I feel called to do. Mm. And so he contacted the National Association of Gospel Rescue Missions and they identified Lexington as a city that was in our area that really needed a mission. Mm. There was um, at that time about a thousand people who were homeless on any given night in Lexington. What year was that? 2001. Okay. And um, not enough beds for mm -hmm. those who were homeless. Mm -hmm. And so even just those basic services were very much needed. And when he came down here, he found that was the case. And so he left his job in Indiana, moved down here, just trusting that if it was God's will, he would provide. So. You know, the power of God is mm -hmm. just, as you well know, an amazing thing to watch. Mm -hmm. So here is this guy and his wife who probably didn't know Lexington. Mm -hmm. The Clampets packed up the vehicle. <laughs> exactly. And, and did you come with him at that time or did you no, wait? No, I, um, I was in college at the time. So okay. I came um, about a Two years after I graduated, I moved down here to do a year of AmeriCorps at the mission. And mm -hmm. I thought that would be it. I would just work. And what year was that? 2004. Okay. So I thought that'll, that'll be all mm -hmm. I do. I'll help them out for a year mm -hmm. and then go on to other things. Right. But I fell in love with the ministry. And yeah. when the opportunity came to come back, I, I couldn't resist. Olivia, we're going to get to you. So <laughs> to paint the picture of what the mission does, mm -hmm. let people know the great things that you do. Sure. Well, we have a lot going on, so it's hard to condense mm -hmm. it, into, but I'm going to try to keep it brief. Okay. So we try to meet people's physical needs, and we do that by um, providing meals, by providing clothing. Um, we provide housing for people, transitional housing. We provide medical care through our clinic. So um, one of our key things that we try to do is to prevent people from becoming homeless mm. and we provide rent and utility assistance as well. Mm -hmm. And so in all those ways, we're trying to meet a real physical need that people have, um, particularly when they're in crisis and build relationships with them and then meet those deeper emotional and spiritual needs that often go hand in hand. And so as we get to know people, we try to provide um, spiritual care, we provide pastoral counseling, we provide education and job training and job placement and then um, case management and really just try to help lift the whole person, lift mm. the burdens and help people get out of poverty. In every pillar of their life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where are you located? Well, our, we have a few locations, but our main office and um, outreach center is on uh, Glen Arvin Avenue, mm -hmm. 444 Glen Arvin Avenue, mm -hmm. which is right off of Georgetown Street mm -hmm. on the north side of Lexington. Mm -hmm. And how many employees do you have? We have 21 employees, uh, but only ha nine are full-time. Mm -hmm. so. so as we talk about the program tonight, mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about getting volunteers, mm -hmm. which is very important. Yeah. And you mentioned you've got something coming up in February. Mm -hmm. Is that what, what Olivia helps with? Yes. Or should I ask yeah. her something else? No, that's perfect. Because she looks really eager to jump in <laughs> yeah. here and say some things. Well, we are getting ready for our Walk for Warmth, which okay. is on February 18th. It's a Saturday. And that event is our only fundraiser for our homeless prevention program, which provides rent and utility assistance for people who are in need and helps prevent people from becoming homeless. So Olivia actually is doing a year of AmeriCorps at the hmm. mission right now. Hmm. And she works every day with the families and individuals individuals that we serve through that program. So that's why I wanted to bring her here tonight so she could share a little bit about her work and what she does with uh, those folks and um, who it is that really benefits from things like the walk. Well, you've done a great job of introducing sure. Olivia. <laughs> sure. Yeah, so like she said, what I do is help families who, you know, are on that brink of homelessness and they're kind of in that slump and they need just to be picked up. A lot of them, they don't have those supports that um, that are so easy for us to have. Um, so they get that support through the mission in various ways, both like she's saying physical and emotional mm -hmm. and other aspects. So what I do is um, 
they come in for a meeting and we compare their income to their expenses and if they're eligible then they get assistance mm -hmm. with at least a hundred dollars mm -hmm. so that really it's amazing how big a hundred dollars is sure. to them yes so. mm -hmm. now Olivia did you say you're from Jesmond County is that where you grew up no I didn't grow up there I just went to elementary school okay. there okay <laughs> yeah so but yeah just <laughs> did you leave and then come back um not really just my mom she worked at the school so mm -hmm when she got a new job I just went back into Fayette County schools oh, okay yeah nothing really special <laughs> so this AmeriCorps yeah. it takes a special person to dedicate themselves to AmeriCorps how many years are you committed to doing AmeriCorps just one that's the length that I'm signed up for so far and how far into it is your first year I think maybe four months and how do you like it so far I like it a you lot. Like it or you I like it. I I love it. Yeah. I think <laughs> I like the rescue mission a lot. It's yeah. really neat. The families that you work with, and I just have a small piece of the huge puzzle of what they all do there. So it's really neat just to be a part of that, just just to sit with them and just help them. It's just crazy how much that means to them. You know, mm -hmm. people who, for example. Um, I was helping a young mom. She didn't have any, she didn't have any support, and she was getting ready to go on maternity leave. In the employment place that she worked, they don't get paid employment. So, as she's working on her third child, she really needed that support, and mm -hmm. I was able to give it to her, you right. know, through the donors that they have and per the policy that they've created. And so, that really helped her stay in her apartment another month for her children. And that's all she had was herself so mm. it's just neat to see how rewarding that is for her not so much for us but for her how just she's worked this hard and now mm -hmm. she has someone who will help her it's like oh I made it you know for folks that don't have that safety net like Olivia was saying like that's what the mission is there for mm -hmm. and it's only really possible because we have so many people in the community that support us and particularly with the walk I think last year we had several hundred people that came out and it was the money that we raised through the walk for warmth that makes it possible for us to help families like this walks on February 18th mm -hmm. where's the walk it's downtown at Phoenix Park right okay. right in the middle of downtown and it's in the morning at 9 30. is it around the streets of downtown yeah okay. and we just walk around the streets of downtown raise awareness about homelessness in mm -hmm. Lexington and more importantly raise money to be able to prevent people from becoming homeless Laura for the people that are watching mm -hmm. that want to participate mm -hmm. how can they do that and for the people that are watching that are busy that day what can they do to make a contribution? Sure, uh, it's simple. All you have to do is go to our website, lexingtonrescue.org. The Walk for Warmth is right there on the home page. And um, if, you, if you can't walk and you just want to contribute, you can click on the donate button and make a donation and designate it for the walk. How many years have you been doing the walk? I think this will be our 10th year. And what's a b goal or a ballpark what you want to achieve this year? I would be thrilled if we raised $25,000. Okay. Um, we can actually, um, Olivia mentioned $100. Mm -hmm. Usually what we do is we, we're able to offer $100 and then we work with other agencies to be able to piece together. So if somebody has rent and it's $500, we'll, we'll call around and try to help piece together the money and then maybe the client will contribute some as well. And then once we get that, all, that whole puzzle together, then we can pay the landlord and keep somebody from becoming homeless. So for $100, we can usually prevent homelessness for a family. So tw you can imagine $25,000 would cover a lot of families in Lexington. I don't know what my calendar is, I'm in for a hundred. That's awesome. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> How many more people that are watching right now can give a hundred dollars? Go online to Lexington Rescue Mission. LexingtonRescue.org. Uh -huh. org, and make a contribution of a hundred dollars and become part of the safety net of which this town is so fantastic that it we is. have great safety nets for people. It is. We are so blessed. We have yes. so many nonprofits that help in so many different capacities. And one of the greatest things that I've seen in being involved in the mission over all these years is how much it's grown that all the different agencies and churches and organizations are working more closely together now than mm. we ever have before. I, I'd love to hear that. And it's an amazing thing to see because we're able to accomplish so much more together. 
I'm putting the pressure on <laughs> so people can go to where to donate. LexingtonRescue.org. Or mm -hmm. if they want to call the office, could yep. they give a credit card number? Oh, definitely. What number could yep. they call? Um, our main line, which is 381-9600. And if you say you want to make a donation, they'll probably connect you directly to me, and okay. I can always take that over the phone. So Laura Carr, mm -hmm. who married for how many years now? Three years. Congratulations. Thank you. I didn't get an invitation to the wedding. <laughs> Sorry um, about that. I, I would have made a donation of the walk in, <laughs> in care of you. Um, so if you get married, that's what I'll do for your wedding oh, or cool. when you get married. I'll send you, around my anniversary, I'll send you a pledge card if you want. <laughs> Who's Laura Carr? <laughs> Already taken care of. Um, you need volunteers as well. We do. So yeah. what kind of jobs or what kind of duties do you require? Well, we have all kinds of volunteer opportunities. So normally what we do, if somebody is interested in getting involved with the mission, we love for people to come and take a tour mm -hmm. so that they can see right. what we're doing over the whole span of the mission. Yes. And then that way we can figure out what connects with their passions and interests and skills, mm -hmm. but also their schedule, because sometimes we're offering things in the day, and if people are working, it's not always the most convenient. You're so open seven days a week. We are, well, we're not open on Sundays, but okay. six, six days, days a week. Six days a week, mm -hmm. and if people wanted to volunteer um, on a Saturday, mm -hmm. once a month, mm -hmm. they could do that. Yep. Uh, are you open, what time during the daytime? Uh, generally, it's kind of complicated. We're open nine to five most days. Okay. Um, but then um, we're open late on Tuesdays and Wednesdays because we have other services going So on. people work mm -hmm. Tuesday, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Wednesdays, they can mm -hmm. come after five o'clock. Exactly. And match your skills to what you need. Exactly. Yeah, that. we have all kinds of opportunities. Everything from we need nurses for our clinic to we mm. need mentors for Jobs for Life. We're doing a lot of work in the jails now, so we need people who are who want to teach classes in the jails mm. and, and mentor folks that are in jail. We um, we need people to help serve meals. Um, so like we to have drive them. You mean serve in at the mission? Yeah, or serve at the mission. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, we serve hot meals most days at, um, at lunch, and so we actually served over forty-two thousand meals last year. So that's a lot of food that we need volunteers to help with. So if someone wanted to help for example, provide a meal at lunch, mm -hmm. they could one day a week, one day a month, make, make some kind of arrangement with you, come to the mission, and for an hour, hour and a half, mm -hmm. serve meals and go back to work. Exactly, we actually have a lot of people that do that, and we have some companies that actually give their employees time off uh, to be able to come during the day and serve lunch, not just for their lunch break, but just as part of their company policy. And then we have groups, um, Lexington Christian Academy sends mm -hmm. students every Tuesday mm. um, with their parents and they mm. come and serve. And so we've, and then we have individuals that just wanna take some time off from work and come and serve lunch. It's a great opportunity really get to connect with people. We're going to give the phone number website, mm -hmm. but we're going to give Olivia one more chance sure. to <laughs> talk about why the mission needs volunteers. Okay, the, nish, the mission. I think it's here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. The mission needs volunteers because, well, it's growing and it's expanding and there's so many people in the community that we pass every day that need help um, but don't often know how to say it. Mm -hmm. So they come to this place and they can get just an array of services and anybody who has the skill and ability to serve and volunteer that's just what would bring them in honestly mm -hmm. it's just people need people so. god bless you <laughs> and god bless you and please give the phone number and website one more time thank you it's 859-381-9600 lexingtonrescue.org it was a delight to have you on great luck with the walk thank you with the volunteers and all the people that you serve i'm paul chartier Get online, make a donation, help them, volunteer for them. They deserve it because they're helping people in our community. I'm Paul Chartier. We'll see you next time on Heart of Gold.